Okay, so here we're going to be looking at uh, free entry and profits, and this is from uh, my textbook in microeconomics and America and free Okay, So um, we're uh, going to be seeing that uh, what said the, in in equilibrium in a competitive market, uh, profits are zero. Uh, we're going to be seeing what's driving that. As we've discussed it before, it's not that price is equal to marginal cost, but instead what's driving uh, the zero profit is that there's free entry. It's easy for uh, new firms to come in uh, and start doing what existing firms are doing already in the market uh, if there are profits to be had from doing so. Okay, and, and more broadly, we could also think of, you know, firms already existing, doing something else that are able to switch uh, what market segment they're working in, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so there's going to be... Um, to illustrate this, we can look at the dynamics. Uh, this is also going to be useful for thinking about uh, how information uh, gets transmitted in uh, in a competitive market. Okay, so we're going to be looking here at the situation where we have a price here on vertical axis. We have uh, aggregate quantities here. So this is the market looking at the whole market, so say market for bread. Uh, and this is the situation for a representative firm. firm. Okay, firm that's, um, you know, assume for simplicity here that all firms are, are the same in the industry. It's not strictly necessary, but simplifies our, our argument. Okay, so assume that we're starting from uh, some situation where there's there's a supply, market supply, call that S0. There's a um, market demand, which we could call um, D0, like that. So um, given that there's a equilibrium market quantity in this market and there's an equilibrium price. Okay, so P0 is the price that's uh, established in this market. And let's, uh, importantly, we can travel out here to the individual firm. That's also gonna be facing uh, this market level price of P0. Okay, so uh, if there are zero profits, what do we know? Well, we know that the firm in the representative firm is indeed making zero profits, meaning what? Well, at the optimal quantity, at the profit maximizing quantity, we know that price is equal to the total average total, to the average total cost. So let's uh, draw the average total cost curve like this for, for that firm. And there's also, we also know that quantity set is such that um, price equals marginal cost. We know that the marginal cost curve cuts through the average total cost, cost curve as its lowest points, as it's at its lowest point. As long as we're below here, we're adding units that are below the average. They're helping pull the average down. Whereas once we cross, we're adding units that are above the average, pulling the average up. So for the individual firm, this gives the following optimal quantity, okay? Now, assume that something happens. Um, demand for bread shoots up. All of a sudden, people want more bread. Um, there are some spectacular health benefits associated with breads or um, you name it. Something happens um, to demand. So that clearly affects demand. Um, and um, if we're looking at the market level here, so demand shifts up to say D1 here. What happens? Well, supply will, will meet in response to this. So we'll have supply at Q1. We have a um, price. P1, Let's 
P1. Could write the, thought we had the P0 here before, but maybe we erased it. Um, so price shoots up. Um, in response to this increased price, um, in response to this increased demand, prices rise uh, and quantity increases, okay? So seen from the perspective of an individual firm, what is it doing in response to this, to this uh, increased price? Well, it, it faces an increased price in the market going up to P1 here. So we can just take that sort of traveling out from, from the market price. So the individual firm is facing a higher price. What does it do? Well, we know that its supply curve is its marginal cost curve, so it expands quantities to here, Q1. So in response to this higher price, the firm uh, produces more. At this point, what do we know? Well, we know that as usual, profits are equal to price minus average total cost evaluated at the quantity at which the firm is producing. Okay, so the individual firm or the representative firm is here making a profit. Okay, so in the short run, there could be profits. Uh, this is price taking firm. Um, demand shifts up. Um, there could be profits, just like as they're, you know, this we're talking about bread here, but we could think about uh, uh, ocean liner shipping. We could think of electricity markets, a number of markets where firms uh, act as price takers, but we can have profits or indeed losses in, in the short run, okay? In the longer run, however, uh, what do we believe? Well, we believe here are profits to be had. We believe that that will trigger uh, entry. And new firms will be coming in. Uh, what happens if new firms come in? Well, that shifts the supply curve, okay? How long will firms be coming into the market? Well, as long as there are profits to be had. So if there's free entry and new firms can um, perfectly replicate what existing firms are doing, uh, we will have um, supply shifting. So new firms are shifting supply to call it S2 here, uh, all the way to this point where we have Q2. We're back to, you can say P, P0 and P2. We're back to the original price, uh, which means that from the perspective of the individual firm, you know, the new entry of entry of new firms is pushing prices back down. And in the long run, that firm is back to say Q2. Okay, so the same original uh, profit maximizing quality. Okay. So this shows how um, re-entry is what's giving zero profits in in uh, long run equilibrium um, for for um, for a competitive market. It's not that price is equal to marginal cost. It's a free entry that's driving this. Uh, it's also important to note that, you know, we here have what sometimes referred to as Adam Smith's um, invisible hand argument. Um, demand for bread shoots up. Uh, the social planner need not tell firms that now more bread needs to be produced. Instead, uh, Firms see the increase in price, not necessarily knowing why prices increased, but they see the increase in price and see that there are now, if they know their own costs, know that there are profits to be had from entering. And uh, by entering, they help uh, increase supply uh, and drive down price. Okay.